Assalamu alaikum. This message is to Sheikh Hussein Yaqub. This Sheikh right here. We're going to react to a video he brought. He brought proof. MashaAllah. The Sheikh brought proof that the Mahdi will be born in Medina. So we're going to react to that video. And also, Sheikh, there is no authentic proof or authentic hadith that say that the Mahdi will be born in Medina. So my brother Umar Abdul Aziz is going to break it down and we're going to react to it. We're going to fact check you. Let's get into it. But with regards to the Mahdi alayhi salam being born in Medina, Abu Abdullah Naeem ibn Hamad in his Kitab al Fitan in Sifat al Mahdi wa Na'tuhu mentions the two hadith. Haddathana Muhammad ibn Himyar and his Sakar ibn Rustam and Abihi all Al Mahdiyu Rajulun al Zaju Ablaju Ayyan Yajiu min al Hijazi Hatta Yastawiya ala Mimbari Dimash. Al Mahdi is a man with radiant sparkling eyes coming from the Hijaz until he stands upon the pulpit of Damascus. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. So, uh, before we start delving into the topic, let's just um, uh, have a quick definition of what a hadith actually is and what's not a hadith. So, a hadith is a saying or a qawl that can be traced back to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So it has the isnad of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So the chain of narrators go back from one sahabi to another, to another, to another, up until it reaches to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. يسأل ويقول في آخر أسئلته ما الفرق بين الأثر والحديث؟ and as we can see here, here there is no isnad that traces the saying back to Rasulullah. So this is not a hadith. It's a riwayah. It's not a hadith because it can't be traced back to Rasulullah. And this is not just my uh, opinion. This is even the opinion of the previous scholars as well. So I'll give you even some evidence and some reference. So here is the riwayah, and this is from the Kitab Lawama' al-Anwar al-Bahiyya by As-Safarini. So the author says, and I quote, وَفِي بَعْضِ الْرِوَايَاتِ وَفِي بَعْضَ الْرِوَايَاتِ And in some sayings, الْمَهْدِي أَزَجُ أَبْلَجُ أَعْيُنْ يُجِيءُ مِنَ الْحِجَازِ حَتَّى يَسْتَوِي عَلَى مَسْجِدِ دِمَشْقِ and even the, 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 the riwayah, it even states And so on and so on So where does it trace back to Rasulullah? I don't know of any hadith That only has two narrators of it Only two chains of narration Sa'ar ibn Rustum and his father And directly to the Prophet Yani, come on We have to bring some sort of tangible evidence When we talk about these things We can't just bring a certain riwayah and make it seem like it's a sahih hadith or something. Furthermore, what does this riwayah even prove? That he comes out from Al-Hijaz? Okay. And how does that prove that he's an Arab? Or a Hijazi? How does that prove that he's from Medina, like you said? It doesn't prove anything. There are so many people who live currently in the Hijaz that aren't even Arabs. Uh, Pakistanis, um, Egyptians, Bangladeshis, and so on and so on. Right. Yeah, I and mean, not everybody who comes out for the Hijaz is an Arab. So this this riwayah doesn't even prove what you're trying to say. That being said, let's take a look at the other uh, riwayah that he mentions. In the second hadith, he mentions Hadassana Abdullah ibn Marwan and Al Haytham ibn Abdurrahman. Amman Hadassahu and Ali ibn Abi Talib radiyallahu anhu qal. Okay, so first of all, let's address what's obvious. Uh, and again, that this is a riwayah and not a hadith. Exactly. So I don't want to dwell too much into it. We've already proven what's a riwayah and what's a hadith. Again, brother, uh, try mentioning a hadith uh, instead of mentioning a ri riwayah. But carry on. Al Mahdiyu, Mawliduhu, Bil Medina, Min Ahli Bayt al Nabi, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Wasmu Husmu Abi. So just a correction, the riwayah says وَإِسْمَهُ إِسْمُ نَبِي His name will be the name of Prophet. 
right? So it doesn't say Abi, it says Nabi, as in Prophet. Just uh, make sure to read well, bro. وَمُهَاجِرُهُ بَيْتُ الْمَقْدِسِ Al-Mahdi will be born in Al-Madina from the family of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. His name is the same as his name, his father's, and his place of emigration is Jerusalem. So I hope that clarifies your questions and the hadith that you required. So again, uh, based on the fact that this is a riwayah and it's not a hadith, um, we can't bring any sort of um, evidence that the Mahdi will be born in Medina. Uh, by the opposite, even the most famous scholars, for example, Ibn Kathir, he even says that the Mahdi will emerge from the East. Um, and uh, here is the book from Ibn Kathir, which is Al Bidaya wal Nihaya. Here is the reference, and I quote. المقصود أن المهدي الموعود به يكون في في آخر الزمان ويكون أصل خروجه من ناحية المشرق. So even Ibn Kathir he says that the Mahdi will emerge from the east. ثم يأتي مكة فيبايع له عند البيت الحرام. In conclusion, there is no authentic hadith, reliable or marfu hadith that officially states that the Mahdi is born in the Hejaz or in Mecca or in Medina. So the next time we want to prove something, we should at least make sure that we have tangible evidence. It's a fact. SubhanAllah. Is this what the ulama and the scholars and the students of knowledge have became? Are we going to start taking things that Rasulullah didn't say? You keep saying hadith, hadith. You still ain't brought my hadith. Show me a hadith that the Mahdi will be born in Medina. That was not a hadith. Like my brother Umar Abdul Aziz just broke it down. He break it down for you. Subhanallah al-Azim. And you see this? MashaAllah. MashaAllah. This is a beautiful hadith. This is what Rasulullah said. Beautiful. Now, there's another challenge for you, Sheikh. Since you couldn't bring my first proof, now bring me proof that the Mahdi will have a beard and a mustache. Bring me a hadith, authentic hadith that said that. And you said, sir, dreams a lot. I'm going to call you, sir, I lie a lot on the hadiths. Because you keep saying Rasulullah said this, but you have no evidence for it. Where'd you get it from? You keep saying the hadiths, the hadiths. If you're mentioning the hadith, you're saying that Rasulullah said this, and you have no proof that Rasulullah said it. So, oh, Sheikh, stop lying on the messenger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And I'm a layman. A layman... It's got you scared. Subhanallah al -Azim. Just bring the proof, man. Stop looking scared on camera. Just bring me my proof, and that's that. Assalamu alaikum.